You can't have black pride if you ain't got black love. You can't have black love if you don't have self-love. You can't have self-love if you ain't get mother love, father love, grandma. You got to get some love, some form of affection. But in our race, I'm looking at our race, and I go state to state just like you. And I see our race. It's the, the state they in, the kids, the, the state of mind these kids are in, man. I don't think... We gonna. I don't think we'll make it to 2050. Oh, uh, uh, well, our generation and your generation, it's something uh, wrong with this generation of humans because they're scared. It's like the Willie Lynch syndrome is sitting in them. It's like they're scared of the youth, and I, uh, I'm one of the ones who ain't scared of the youth. I'm, a, I'm me and you almost the same person, but in different uh, bodies. We well, got different well, well, that, that, uh, that's because we don't live in the home with them. Or uh, the people in the home scared of them. That's why everybody else scared of them. And I witnessed that, and I see as I see as I go, Mr. Charles, and I'm like, I'm looking at the homes, and I'm looking at the parenting. I'm like, ain't no discipline in these homes. And then when I come out in society, being that I'm an 80s baby, you know what I'm saying? I came up under, under love and all that, and you know, giving back and giving that, and respect, yes sir, no sir. When you see an adult talking, you don't talk. You don't talk back to an adult. You let the adult handle the situation. What I'm seeing, I'm seeing self description like you see, and I listen to these Tupac songs as regular. I'm seeing the self description. I don't see no growth in it. And the parents ain't trying to see it. It's like everybody's caught up in this social media life. And it's just our people. Because I go around, and I go around the different states. It's the Mexicans working, their kids working. I have all my friends. Or from international cup, um, from overseas and all that. All of them are working people, working families. I got Mexican friends, Jamaican friends, Haitian friends, and all their families together. And I only see this happening to the Black Americans. That's the only people I see this happening to. So what I'm saying is, I see it's like a like that M Ultra. It's like it just pinned it on us. I ain't trying to say it's a race thing, but what I'm saying is, it's something wrong with us. As a whole people, uh, something's going on, and it's music is not affecting these other kids. I'm going to these households where these other uh, kids and other races are. Their kids are not acting like our kids. I think this problem came from when we was when we was young. I heard I heard kids used to say this, man. When I grew up, I'm not gonna raise my kids like that. But then I used to go to church, and they used to always say. Spare the rod, spare the kid. And I now I get it. And we're in a predicament right now where the kids have no God. Nobody's teaching about God. No one wants to go to the church. Everything's corrupt. Brother, did you come to preach or you gonna let me talk to? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Uh, fam, you 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 left out the crack era because no other race was given crack like us. Uh, you left out the civil rights generation when they came in and put the world for down. They didn't do that to nobody else. Uh, uh, you left out the fact, nigga, that we come from slavery. So we always play behind the eight ball with everything against us when we step out the house, whether that's going from public school to daycare. Homie, that's intentionally done against us. That's why it's against it's only us. No other race get to talk about killing their people but us, homie. So some of these things are intentionally done to us to keep us like this. We didn't know nothing about crack, homie. Our government brought crack to our doorsteps and gave them to our mothers. Think about that, my nigga. But we didn't know that till now. Till Free Ray Ricky Ross came out and they given us snowfall. They did that to us, my nigga. That changed the trajectory of who black people were, the crack element. Because that took our grandmothers from us. Our grandmothers start sleeping with our friends. Our mothers, all kind of stuff start happening after that to black people that had never happened before. And then after that, guess what? The kids who was born to those mothers, they came along with a new form of biological chemical warfare called ADHD. 